Hello and welcome to Inside Japan. Disney Plus is a streaming service that is starting on November 12th in the United States. For those of you who don't know, Japan already has a Disney streaming service called Disney Theater. It started in late March, but still many people don't know about it. It costs 700 yen a month plus tax. At the time of this video, that equals out to 751 yen a month, which is about $7. This monthly payment pays for Disney Deluxe. Disney Deluxe is a service that grants access to other Disney-based apps and services, which includes Disney Theater. Disney Deluxe is offering a 31-day free trial for people who sign up. People signing up have to create a D account if they don't already have one, which is an account with the Japanese telecommunications company Docomo. Having Docomo as a service provider is not required to get started but a credit card is needed. It also seems that using an American credit card will not work. Disney Theater has provided a window to what the Disney Plus streaming service will look like. Because of the new shows coming out on Disney Plus and rights issues, Disney Theater might not be exactly the same as Disney Plus. Disney Theater gives viewers a chance to watch many of the Disney-owned properties, such as Pixar, Star Wars, and Marvel. Not everything is currently available. Some TV shows like the Aladdin series and movies like Kronk's New Groove are not available, but there are some movies on their coming out soon section that viewers might get excited for. Also, there's no telling if non-Disney owned properties from the Marvel Cinematic Universe are coming to either of these services. These would include Iron Man 1, Incredible Hulk, and Spider-Man Homecoming. People will just have to wait and see. There are many shows and movies that are available, and since this is a Japanese service, the shows and movies are available in Japanese, but since this is a Disney service, English is also available. The only problem that might confuse people is that when watching the English version, the visuals are those that were released with the Japanese version of the films. What this means is what the viewer sees might not match the audio. An example of this is from the movie Inside Out. In the Japanese version, the movie replaces broccoli with green peppers, because many Japanese children dislike green peppers. So visually, the viewer seeing green peppers on the screen, but the English audio says broccoli. This also applies to some things that were originally written on the screen in other languages, but have been changed to Japanese in the Japanese version. This doesn't happen often, but it does happen. Overall, this version of Disney Plus is worth the free trial, and with more movies and shows coming out, it might be worth the $7 a month to those who love Disney and the properties that they own. This has been Inside Japan, and thanks for watching.